Oh, oh, take Dodge. Oh, uh oh. He's oh, opening another one. It's massive 50 inch TV. You what? Didn't get that sort of nonsense when I was a pup. 50 inches. Oh, Dodge, here it comes. Oh, Dick. Wow. 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 I mean, who gets a 50 inch telly? Unbelievable. Yeah. Email in cbc at bbc.co.uk. Tell us what you think about presents. Do you want banned or not? Email in, because this is important. Yeah. Right now, it is a brand new scoop of a very talented individual. Yeah, Digby's good, isn't he? You. Oh, yeah. Run network. I've been through some scrapes before, but this time, I think heads are really going to roll. <laughs> Mine! <laughs> How did I end up here in the 16th century getting my head chopped off by ye olde hacker? Oh, budgies. Right, Hacker, it's time we put up our new notice board. Yeah, too right. Don't stick around here, go and get the paper. I'll have it up in a jiffy. Paper. This isn't it. You brought me some silly comic by mistake. That's Dr. Pooch, time traveller. And I am a high powered reporter. I've got to go and see Max. Imagine if he caught me reading some stupid comic. Wow! Go, Dr. Pooch! Imagine time travelling. I'd go back to. Lunchtime and have that triple decker meat feast all over again. Digby, get your head out of the comic. But it's so exciting, Max. I wish I could time travel. I love history. Well, that's good, because you'll be history if you don't stop reading this rubbish. Oh, when it comes to born idle reporters, you are number one. Oh, thank you, sir. Wow, number one. <sighs> right, listen. You can help me win 250 quid on the next episode of my favourite TV programme. You've fallen over. And how exactly am I going to do that, sir? Well, sit down and I'll tell you. <laughs> Did you get that, Hacker? Yeah. ka -ching! <laughs> Now, Digby, Digby, what do you know about plants? Well, if you've got a story about plants, you've come to the right reporter. Me and Hacker really dig plants. Oh, good, because you'll be digging them all afternoon in my cousin's garden. Uh, second cousin once removed, to be precise. <laughs> I need it tidied up. Right. Ah! Oh! <laughs> hey, you've fallen over! <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh. Woohoo! Oh, Digby, how could you? What? 
Anyway, whoever smelt it, dealt it. Oh, well, here met the rap committed the crime. I can't believe Max has got me digging a garden. Me, Digby D. Digworth, ace reporter and hard labourer. <laughs> Hold up, hacker. You shouldn't be carrying a brick all the way over there. <coughs> you should be carrying four. That way you can make half the number of trips. <laughs> You're all up. I know. I just can't help putting other people first. Ah. You hold the fort here, Hacker, cos I'm about to boldly go where no time traveller has gone before. Deck back! <laughs> Imagine it. Digby D. Digworth, time traveller. I'd be much better than Dr. Pooch. And Doctor Who. If he's so brilliant, how come he sleeps in a phone box? What's that noise? Welcome to our Tudor reenactment extravaganza. Now, you might know me as Chief Inspector Larson of the Pilbury Police. But for the next six hours, I will be Henry VIII. Henry, you ate all the pies more like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very funny, PC Drogic. Dog litter duty for you. No. Right. Everyone must stay in character all day. So I want all mobile phones. MP3 players and game consoles in here. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was murder. I mean, uh, good day, sire. It is an honour to be in your majestic presence, King Henry VIII. That's better, Marjorie. I mean, my Lady Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Where am I? So, time to begin. Welcome, subjects, to the court of King Henry VIII. Today we will feast and be merry as I show my beloved wife Anne just how much I love her by chopping off her head. Hey. Hey. Oh, sorry. Uh, my lord. My lord, spare me, my lord. I am innocent of what you accuse me of, my lord. It's really happened. Digby D. Digworth has time travelled. Let the celebrations begin. Stranded back in time with Henry VIII. I am an adventurer. A time traveller. A plonker. A plonker! <laughs> what? Wow! How amazing! A dog who looks identical to my 21st century hacker. I am hacker. Greetings, ye oldie hacker. You must be an ancient and distant relation to mine own dog. It's me, listen. What a coincidence! My hacker does exactly the same as you, ye oldie hacker. Truly remarkable. It must be genetic. Come on. I'm off to make a name for myself in the history books. And it won't be the one everyone called me at school. No.
Ye oldie hacker, I think that's the Queen, Anne Berlin. Bowling? And I don't This is no time to go bowling. I must go and speak to the Queen. Your Majesty! Oh dear, maybe I didn't address her in the correct manner. Your Highness! Your Worship! Your bootyliciousness! Who are you? I am your humble servant, your bootyliciousness. I am Sir Digby of Digworth. Do not be shocked by my weird clothes. I come from the future. Digby, she is a... Not now, ye oldie hacker. Oh, sorry. Love to talk, but a bit busy. My husband's cutting my head off at three, so uh, I have to go. Oh, uh, do you think you ought to get changed? My husband will kill you if he's easy dressed like that. <laughs> It is my duty, ye oldie hacker, to change history and to see that that poor girl isn't executed. Now there's a story for Max. I tried to tell him. Such a pity you're only rubber. Executions must have been so much more fun in the old days. Bring up the axe and chop, chop, off with a head. Quiet, ye oldie hacker. We have to hide this so they can't execute Anne. Come on. Come on. Everything is in order, executioner. Take the axe out to the courtyard. Right, sire. Yes, in just a few hours' time, my wife will be feeling a little light-headed. <laughs> Let's get rid of it in here. Right. Time to prepare for the banquet. Oh. <laughs> Yummy. Ah, all the peasant stuff. Off limits, of course, to them. Luckily, Rules don't apply to the king. Think you can hide, do you? You little monster. Prepare to die. Die! 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 Digby, it's Max. Max? Really? I can't believe you got a signal. Why? How far away are you? About 500 years. What are you blathering on about, Digworth? You cleared up the mess? Not yet. But I'm working on it. Sorry, Max. Gotta go. Good day, sire. Ah, a fool. You are a fool, aren't you? Well, that's what Max always says, but... I mean, yes, Your Majesty. You had better be funny at the banquet, fool. The only thing I like more than a good laugh is a good execution. With a hey, nonny, no. Jester, tell me a joke. How did the king get back into the castle after he'd locked himself out? I don't know. How? In Tudor window! Oh. Your bootyliciousness. There is still time to avoid your terrible fate. You mean I don't have to watch your act? Fool! I hope your juggling is better than your jokes. What would you say if I said I couldn't juggle? I'd probably say... Off with his head! Hurrah! Why? No reason. Stocks. 
the rest of us can die. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Dinner is served. Your kingship and your bootyliciousness. I know my act got off to a, a bit of a slow start, but I am now going to do a magic trick which you are bound to love. And for this trick, I will need a beautiful assistant. I will perform for you today a disappearing trick I first performed for King Bernard of Belgium. I've never heard of King Bernard of Belgium. Exactly. Completely disappeared. That's how good the trick is. <laughs> this is your chance. Run! No! What's going on back there? A magician never reveals his secrets. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, <laughs> nice one, ye oldy hacker. <laughs> Better out the dead. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'm not having today ruined. Find my wife or heads will roll. We will be having an execution today, or my name's not Henry the Eighth. Oh! You have to believe me, your bootyliciousness. One day you'll thank me for this. No! What are you doing, Digby? I am saving the Queen. <gasps> Digby, look! Yes, ye oldie hacker, the cross-stitching is delightful. But I really don't have time to look at a 16th century sack. I have to save her bootyliciousness. No, budges. I have a plan. A plan that can't fail. Well, unless it does. All I need to do is to get Anne and Henry to fall in love all over again using these. Go and prepare my time machine ready for liftoff. I am about to change history. Now, where has Marjorie got to? She better not mess this up or I'm not cleaning the car this weekend. Oh, there you are at last. Oh, my leech! It's liege. I have come to you to beg you for mercy. Spare my life. What? Cancel today's execution? The peasants would turn ugly, and I'd really get it in the neck. Oh, so you'd rather I got it in the neck? I've grown rather attached to it down the years. <laughs> well acted, dear, and the extra padding looks a treat. I'm sure you're going to put on a great show on the chopping block. Wife, it is I, Henry VIII. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought it might be that horrid little man who locked me in here. I have heard him described as a hero, brave and courageous with a big heart. Big heart? Big tummy, more like. <clears throat> Darling wife, great news. I have decided to call off your execution. Oh, but you know how I'm looking forward to having my head chopped off. Well, my mind is made up. Well, my mind's made up more. <laughs> What am I worried about? If the axe is in the wardrobe, then there's no axe in the courtyard. You idiot, Digby. No axe, no execution. My husband, get hold of you! Cup of tea? Oh, yes. Milky brew. Two sugars, please. <laughs> A real axe? Oh, budges.
Well, come on then, Hammers. I thought we were going to have an execution. Well, come on. Chop, chop. Hmm. Chop, chop. Get it? <laughs> look, look. I've even made it easy for you. Just cut along the dotted line and head A will detach from body B. <laughs> but... Oh, dear. I don't think we have an axe, do we? All right, everybody. No axe. Everybody go home. No axe, no show, no refunds. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, I can guarantee there is no <laughs> axe! Oh, I haven't even got the axe ready yet. <sighs> you just can't get the executioners these days. And that is how I ended up here, getting my head chopped off by ye oldie hacker. We're behind schedule. The king commands you to get on with it. Oh. You should be using this to chop off my head. Phew. But if you're here, then who's that? I am Digby D. Digworth. You'll find it in all the history books. I am the man who saved the life of Anne Berlin. And I think I'll take home a little souvenir as well. 21st century, here we come! This is an outrage! Seize him! Come on, Hacker! Now, all I have to do is to pull this lever... And we are going down the pan. This is the police. We have you surrounded. Release your hostage and come out with your hands up, and no one will get hurt. Wow! That was quick. Back in the 21st century already. I better phone Max. Do not be alarmed, my lady. This is a machine that sends voices through the air. Allow me to demonstrate. We're giving you to the count of five to come out. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your hands up. No. Incredible as it may seem, officer, I have just travelled in time. This is Anne Berlin. No, that is my wife, Marjorie. I've tried to tell you. The only place you'll be travelling to is the nearest police cell. Well, if I haven't really travelled in time, explain how I have in my hands the crown of King Henry VIII. It's regal. It's majestic. It's made in China. It's made in China. But they were going to cut off her head. I thought the police wanted to stop crime. Get Reporter gets a right royal telling off. Dig, big, dig, whoa! There are so many ways to get from A to B. We're looking at unusual forms of transport, electrifying stuff, and discovering real-life spacecraft. Coming through! Wallace and Gromit's World of Invention. Tonight at 7.30 on BBC One and BBC One HD. Yeah, it's quite simple. When I say go, what you do is pull that lever. Easy peasy. Oh, I'm not talking to me bungee yet. The bear yeah. is back, and he's behaving... Badly. Brand new today at 5.45 on the CBBC channel. Hello, Ricky here with 60 seconds of News Round. First, the freezing weather smashing records in Scotland. Edinburgh is said to have had the worst snowfall for 50 years, and with temperatures as low as minus 14, the army could be called in to try and help shift the snow.
Guinea pig alert now. The hunt is on for the owner of this animal, baby Fred, whose blind was abandoned on top of a wheelie bin in Southampton. It was just about to be chucked into a dustbin lorry when someone spotted him. Check out the Newsround website for the full story. There are loads more mountain gorillas around than seven years ago. That's according to new figures, which say numbers are up by 26%. So it looks like efforts to save them from extinction are working. Finally, I bet you haven't got 800 lights on your Christmas tree. Well, that's how many lights have been used to form this tree in Italy. It's on the side of a mountain and is thought to be the world's largest. All right, that's it. We'll have a full roundup for you at about 6.25. Until then, make sure you check out our website. Bye-bye. Welcome back, where you join us discussing the hottest of topics. So hot, it'll melt the snow. Hacker wants to ban presents. Ban them! Get rid of them! Get them out of my eyeballs! Well, let's see what you think about this. First email is from Alice. Here, Alice, do you like your wonderland? <laughs> Doesn't deserve Did that. Did not deserve Did that. Did not deserve that. Uh, I think you should ban presents because you never get what you ask for and then the, you can't open them until Christmas. See, ban them. I agree True, with that you. True, that is fact, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, we'll hear from Caitlin. Right, Caitlin. Hello. Who says, I'm with Hacker on this one. Please ban presents. All you have to do is go to any random toy shop, then buy any toy you want. So what's the point in presents? Exactly. You agree I agree with, with every word that she said or is likely to say. Well, Caitlin then goes on to say, also, Ian, I like it when you smack the fish around Hacker's face. What? Do you mean Stuart, Caitlin? No, not that. Comedy. Finally, we've got one. That was good. Thank you. One here from Jessica. Out, right, Jess. Stop it. You think you're angry? Ah, I'm so angry at you, little hacker. I feel like a dinosaur. How dare you ban presents, hacker T dog? It's nearly Christmas. Now, I like Ian's hairstyle more than you. Thanks. And I don't even like Ian's hairstyle. <laughs> you should be ashamed, says Jessica. Of your Jessica. hairstyle. Ashamed of you and your ways. No. Unbelievable. Anyway, right now, it is Bear Baby and Badly up next. So before more ban it, we're about to show